Hi, I'm Kyle Shandles. I'm a correctional officer sergeant with the state of Maryland at MCIH. Uh, I have a very simple wish list for Governor Hogan. I'd like adequate staffing so that when we enter our facilities, we feel safe and we feel like we get to go home in the same shape we came in as. I feel like we need to provide safety to the public and we can't do that when we're understaffed and the inmates have easy access to be able to manipulate things because we don't have enough people to watch them. Uh, I'd like everybody to get paid properly. I mean, we have a new payroll system and it's broken is the only way to describe it. We have people who can't even get 80 hours of base pay, let alone all the overtime they're working and with the holiday season and bills and life in general, that's unacceptable. Uh, I'd like the, the payroll issues that date back 20 plus years to be fixed so that everybody gets compensated for that properly. But most of all, I mean, it's the staffing. Right now we are critically understaffed in the Department of Corrections and it puts our lives in jeopardy every day. It risks us not being able to come home to our families and it's unacceptable. just unacceptable at this day and age okay in the holiday season that they are not paying people they're not doing what they need to do this governor ran on I'm a businessman I know what I'm doing I know how to run a business well would he accept this of his own employees no, no. no. so why should people that work hard day in and day out for the state that are many are working forced overtime and not getting paid for it why should we think that's acceptable because it's not it's unacceptable in this day and age on behalf of the educators of maryland state education association it's my pleasure to stand with you today you know the governor just came out this week proposing another five billion dollars for private and parochial <laughs> Michelle McIntyre, I work for the Comptroller of Maryland, and my wish is that the state employees are paid fairly for the jobs that they do and the services that we provide every day for the citizens of Maryland. So we're here today because we have a message for Governor Hogan. Uh, and not only correctional officers, but state employees as a whole, we want Governor Hogan to do his job. Many of your state employees are not being paid adequately or not being paid accurately. As a businessman, your job in business is to ensure that all of your employees are paid correctly and are paid on time. So do your job and pay us. I came here today to Annapolis to send Governor Hogan a strong message that his um, bumbling of the payroll system is not acceptable. His uh, lack of staffing around departments is not acceptable. It's putting the people of Maryland and the people that do the tough jobs at risk and we're going to stand up and we're going to scream about it and we're going to fight about it and we're going to make sure that our folks get paid on time for the work they do and we're going to make sure that our folks are resourced uh, to get the work done because our folks make Maryland happen.